We're going to start with the topic of opioids and the opioid crisis. Clemson Public Health students tackled the opioid crisis head on this evening, presenting the results of their research on problems and solutions of abuse and addiction. And in the course of a day, like over 1,500 people ages 12 to 17 are going to use a non-prescribed drug pain reliever um, for the first time. And so if you can get one less person to be a statistic, then make that difference be that person. The opioid crisis hit home in Clemson in December when 19-year-old Bowen Ellis overdosed on fentanyl and two other drugs, the coroner said. You see someone that's about to take an op opioid or a about to take a drug that's not theirs, and they're like, oh, no, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. And so, you, and so really you can't push them anymore because you can tell them about statistics, you can tell them about what could happen, but until it happens to them, they're not going to change their mind about what they're taking. This is the second year public health students have held the symposium, focusing on prevention and recovery. They're not knowing what they're taking. They may be taking uh, Xanax is la laced with fentanyl. This year, adding a recovery coach to give hope for the addicted. But what will get to me is someone with experience. Someone with experience has walked my path. That means something. So that's what I do. Students and experts say more forums like this are needed to give their fellow students and adults more information about the opioid crisis. John Lyon, WYFF News 4, Clemson.